In this video today, we are going to show how to use SAP purchase orders and the SAP purchase order module to attach documents and information to a purchase order for your vendors and also how to distribute those automatically together as a package. Our first step, we go into purchase order module. Here we see our purchase order and our preferred vendor alongside an item. This item is something that's attached from a material. And this is where some of the documents reside that are linked to the purchase order that should go with the purchase order to the vendor. I'll step into the material so you can see where these items are. Uh, we have the material record with all the and in additional data. We can go to the document data tab and find the document records. These are pointers to the SAP document management system where our files are stored. Double click into that. One of these is an example and show this is our document records or so our kind of filing cabinet and we have some files within this document record directly. These are locked and the document record is uh, at a release state. So this is uh, has been document controlled and is a really good way to manage uh, all the files and information that companies need to uh, work with SAP and, and business processes in SAP. So I'm going to head back uh, through the material and back to the purchase order. And that's one of our line items there. We can also attach other line items and materials. We can have additional document attachments as well, and as well as the services for objects here, where we can link uh, files directly from uh, a URL, a PDF on my desktop. Um, these are not document controlled and should be used with caution. Any of these that are attached here can also be retrieved and potentially sent to a vendor, uh, depending on the configuration for SAP. So we've done our attachments, and the next thing we want to do is go into message control, and uh, we're going to just repeat one of these. We have quite a few of the same uh, vendor receiving demo packages from us. Uh, in this case, we are simply sending this out and repeating this output. We want to print this. Uh, for us, it'll just come up on a screen, but it would go to a printer. We could also change the medium type to uh, EDI or an email. So saving this on the uh, message, and right now the purchase order is being processed. The, normally with SAP, the purchase order itself, the form goes to the uh, vendor through the preferred message control output uh, without attachments. So this is where SEAL Systems comes in and where we go into the item, into the material, we go into the document records and we retrieve all the pointers to all the files that you wish to include as a package. And you can see SEAL Systems working here in the corner where the documents are being collected. And we have a pop-up pretty immediately with the PDF. And this PDF is our purchase order. So we have a cover sheet, a little bit generic from SEAL. In this list here, we have uh, the items that were collected. So we have a purchase order. We have uh, the two services for objects items, plus the three document records. There was another one hiding in there somewhere that we did identify to go with the package. And on the subsequent pages, we find the purchase order itself. We have uh, terms and conditions, which was a PDF attached. And you're already starting to see some stamps or watermarks on the side, which are added at the time of output and can contain information such as the user that submitted this, um, destination information, uh, types of files, page count, uh, uh, whatever it is that's necessary. On this one, we also notice this orange stamp on top. This comes from the document record. So if a document is in work or in release status, uh, we can stamp that on the document so that it is uh, something that may not be taken as a productive use or is, is something that is an example. Uh, those can be added dynamically at time of output. And as we scroll through this, we have quite a few PDFs with some graphics in them, as well as some CAD drawings. And here you can see two different scooters uh, in two different states. Uh, this one's in released here, and we have one in, in, uh, as a work request. And something that your uh, vendors can also utilize if give them additional information from your metadata from SAP to represent the package in the drawing. And that's it in a nutshell. Uh, the packages can be sent through email as a single PDF merged together as such. Uh, could also be generated as a web page or sent to uh, EDI or a different uh, portal. Uh, and that completes uh, purchase orders with attachments and uh, automated distribution. Thanks for joining us.